Hello students, welcome to the next video of integration. In today's video, we are going to see the result. This result says that if integral e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x dx is given, then we do not need to solve this we just use this formula and according to this formula this will be e raised to x into f of x plus c okay so once again if the first term is exponential term e raised to x term and uh, with this e raised to x term we are multiplying f of x plus f dash x then by this result that is equal to e raised to x f of x plus c now let us see the example. So the first example is i is equal to integral e raised to x into sin x plus cos x dx. Okay. So here we know that if function is sin x then derivative of this f of x derivative of sin x is cos x. Right. So, this is exactly in the form of result. Result is integral e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x dx. Okay. So, here function is sin x and derivative of sin x is cos x. Okay. So, that is equal to e raised to x into f of x and that means e raised to x into sin x plus c. Then second example, second example is i is a integral e raised to x into 2 plus x upon 3 plus x whole square dx. Okay. Now here it is not exactly given in the form of e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x so but by doing some uh, mathematical operation or some simplification we can write this as in the form of f of x plus f dash x so for that what we have to do we have to uh, write this 2 as 3 minus 1 okay listen carefully what i am doing i am just writing this 2 as 3 minus 1 okay so this 2 will be 3 minus 1 e raised to x will be as it is so this will be e raised to x into 3 plus x minus 1 upon 3 plus x the whole square dx okay so that means integral e raised to x into okay this will be 3 x 3 uh, 3 plus x upon 3 plus x whole square minus 1 upon 3 plus x the whole square dx right so this will be cancelled so it will be a integral e raised to x into 1 upon 3 plus x minus 1 upon 3 plus x the whole square dx okay now suppose this 1 upon 3 plus x is 1 upon x okay then we know that derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square okay so if this is a function then this is the derivative of this function okay so function then plus derivative of this function and hence we can apply the result. Which result? This result. Integral e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x. That is equal to e raised to x into f of x plus c. So, i is equal to e raised to x into 1 upon 3 plus x plus c. Okay. So, this is the application of this result. Once again, result is integral e raised to x into f of x plus f dash x dx and that is equal to e raised to x into f of x plus c okay now the 
नेक्स्ट पार्ट थर्ड मेथड इज अ इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्शल फ्रैक्शन सो इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्शल फ्रैक्शन सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड द पार्शल फ्रैक्शन एंड देन वी विल इंटीग्रेट सो हाउ टू फाइंड द पार्शल फ्रैक्शन दैट वी हैड ऑलरेडी सीन इन सेमिस्टर वन चैप्टर नंबर फोर ओके सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू जस्ट फाइंड द पार्शल फ्रैक्शन एज यू कैन सी क्वेश्चन इज इंटीग्रल डी एक्स अपॉन एक्स इंटू एक्स प्लस वन नाउ सिंस द डिनोमिनेटर हैज अ लीनियर डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज अ ए अपॉन एक्स प्लस बी अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन ओके देन बाय सॉल्विंग द टर्म्स वी गेट ए एज वन एंड बी एज माइनस वन देन वी विल सब्सटीट्यूट ए एंड बी वैल्यू सो आफ्टर सब्सटीट्यूटिंग वी गेट वन अपॉन एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स प्लस वन now have to integrate this term so for that first i have to split the term so that will be integral of 1 upon x dx minus integral of 1 upon x plus 1 dx now we know that integral of 1 upon x is log x minus integral of 1 upon x plus 1 will be log mod of x plus 1 plus c okay now this is in the form of log m minus log n and that is equal to log m upon n so log x upon x plus 1 plus c okay see the second example evaluate integral x upon x plus 1 into x minus 2 dx okay so integral x upon x plus 1 into x minus 2 first we have to find the partial fraction of this term so since the denominator has linear different factors that's why we can write this as a upon x plus 1 plus b upon x minus 2 and by simplifying this we get a as 1 upon 3 and b as 2 upon 3 then we'll substitute a and b okay now we have to integrate so it make the integration very simple and very easy so 1 upon 3 is a constant term so it will come outside the integration so 1 upon 3 into integral of dx upon x plus 1 so that will be log x plus 1 then 2 upon 3 is a constant term so it will come outside and integral of 1 upon x minus 2 is log x minus 2 plus c now again this is in the form of log m minus log n so that will be this can be written as log m upon n okay now see the third sum third sum is evaluate integral e raised to x upon e raised to x minus 1 into e raised to x plus 1 dx now here we uh, first we have to do the substitution we will substitute this e raised to x term so let e raised to x equal to t then derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x dx that is equal to dt so now i will be dt upon t minus 1 into t plus 1 then this 1 upon t minus 1 t plus 1 uh we have to find the partial fraction of this and partial fraction is this is equal to half into t minus 1 plus minus half into t plus 1 and then we will integrate this so we'll take 1 upon 2 outside the integral and we find integral of 1 upon t minus 1 which is log of t minus 1 similarly we'll take here also 1 upon 2 is there so we'll take that outside the integral and we'll integrate 1 upon t plus 1 which is log t plus 1 okay so with this i am concluding this chapter so thank you students